Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Minecraft Monday! In today's video, we're diving into my personal top 10 most useful Cobmon add-ons. We've got some fresh picks this time, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. But before we do, I want to ask you guys to please consider subscribing because only 1.4% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So do it now! Number 1. Cobbled Shiny Particles Ever wanted your shiny Pokemon to stand out even more? Yes! Definitely! The Cobbled Shiny Particles add-on adds special particle effects around shiny Pokemon, making them instantly recognizable and more exciting to encounter. This add-on is perfect for people that tend to miss a shiny or two. Number 2. Fuller's Poke Centers Fuller's Poke Centers brings Pokemon Centers into the Cobbled mod. These new structures provide healing stations and PCs into vanilla villages. This is great for people that love exploring and battling on their adventures. Number 3. Cobble Foods Cobble Food adds a collection of Pokemon themed foods to Cobblemon, which can all be made with berries, giving them more purpose and functionality. I personally love this mod because now I finally have a use for all those spare berries in my storage room. Number 4. Cob Gyms Want a true gym challenge? Cob Gyms introduces various Pokemon gyms with trainers and unique rewards. Each gym has a teleporter in the middle of it, which will teleport you into the main gym when you right click it. Here you'll have to face off against trainers and gym leaders to get some good loot. Number 5. Legends and Myths This add-on adds mythical and legendary Pokemon into Kalmon, giving you a chance to hunt and capture these rare, powerful Pokemon. All Pokemon have their own structure that they spawn in. These beautiful structures will randomly spawn in your world and once you enter them, the legendary or mythical Pokemon will spawn. Number 6. Mystic Mons Mystic Mons introduces a lot of models and animations for Pokemon that don't have them in the base mod yet, giving you a wider range as to which Pokemon you can use in your playthrough. And I'd also like to add that most of the Pokemon in this add-on are legendaries and mythicals, because I know a lot of people are waiting on those. Number 7. Pasture Collector The Pasture block was a really cool addition to the Cobmon mod, but this add-on makes it even better. With the Pasture Collector block, you'll be able to collect drops from the Pokemon roaming around your Pasture block. This makes it so you'll be able to get some unique items passively, which is a big win for me. Number 8. More Kalmon Tweaks More Kalmon Tweaks brings a range of small quality of life improvements to the Kalmon experience. This add-on adds being able to look at the IVs of your Pokemon inside of the PC, changing the name and background of your PC boxes, looking for specific Pokemon in your PC, and way more. This is an absolute must if you want to enjoy the Kalmon mod to its fullest potential. Number 9. Cobble Dollars Cobble Dollars introduces an in-game currency, allowing you to earn and spend on a Kalmon merchant. This currency can be obtained by defeating Pokemon in battle. Once you've gathered some of this currency, the Kalmon merchants will get a chance to spawn. You'll be able to right-click them to see their traits. I really like this add-on because it gives you the ability to grind for some unobtainable items. The final add-on on the list is going to be Cobble Mounts. Have you ever wondered if a Pokemon could carry you around? Well, with this add-on, you'll be able to mount your Pokemon and actually ride them throughout your world. The thing about this add-on is that the Pokemon stats actually matter. The higher the speed stat, the faster the Pokemon will move. So keep that in mind when using this add-on. And there you have it, my top 10 most useful Kalmon add-ons. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and join the Discord server to become part of my growing community. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye bye.